This is a stimulus update and daily news report. Got a lot of important news to share with you. One new city is giving out $500 per month to adults. $10 million in stimulus aid is going to residents in another state. And this article, eight stimulus checks and payments you could get this month worth up to $12,915 and some are going out automatically. Tax returns are delayed and could be rejected if yours is still pending from last year. I'll give you a student loan forgiveness update as well as what's going on with UK, with Ukraine Russia and how Russia is supposed to invade on Wednesday and I'll give you some other important updates as well. Hope you're having a terrific Tuesday. If you appreciate the fact-based fast-paced updates hit the like button down below and I'm giving $200 to my subscribers. I'll talk more about that later on in the video but first Pfizer director Dr. Scott Gottlieb saying shots for kids under five delayed due to low COVID cases in trials. So they don't have enough kids or enough parents willing to give their kids for the trials of the COVID vaccine and Gottlieb said I suspect there's only going to be 15 to 20 percent of parents who go out and get their young kids vaccinated. Let me know down in the comments below. Should kids under five get vaccinated? Is it good that it's delayed? Should it not be delayed? Let me know your thoughts on all that down in the comments below. Speaking of low COVID cases, if we look at this, it's at an all time low since probably uh, about almost two months or so. So yesterday was uh, 206,000. So you can see this huge peak and down and it looks like things are getting much better. Even Dr. Fauci saying that a full-blown pandemic is pretty much behind us. Hopefully it's almost over for good. Uh, also, $500 a month for a year, no strings attached. Who's eligible for Louisville's Guaranteed Income Program? So this is what's going on in Louisville, Kentucky. Just announced uh, this is going to 18 to 24-year-olds uh, and it's going for 150 of them in Louisville, Kentucky for $500 per month. Then we have Utah residents have $10 million in stimulus aid coming their way. So uh, this is in terms of rental assistance. So Salt Lake City County is getting $10 million uh, some in rental assistance funds. So if you live in Salt Lake City or Salt Lake County in Utah, looks like there's some more rental assistance money there. Then four ways you could still get a $1,400 stimulus check before April. Here's how to apply. So this one is sort of repeating itself, but this is the latest article. Uh, basically, if you did not get the third $1,400 stimulus check, if you didn't get it for a dependent, if you had a baby in 2021, you get a $1,400 check for that baby. Uh, so and those are the four ways uh, pretty much so you could claim it and all that so I've gone over that in the past uh, then this one 10 million Americans could be protected from eviction for another year. So this is talking about in Los Angeles. So Los Angeles County, a host of protections have been extended that prevent such a crisis uh, talking about evictions. So saying uh, April 1st, starting on this date, eviction protections will a uh, return for tenants who can't pay their rent. Uh, so since October 2021, landlords have been able to pursue evictions on the basis of rent non-payment. Uh, so it looks like April 1st, if someone can't pay their rent, it's going to continue uh, for potentially another year uh, in Los Angeles. Then we have this, eight stimulus checks and payments you could get this month worth up to $12,915, and some are going out automatically. So let me go through this really quick. First, talking about the $1,400 check, just went through the ways that you could claim that from the third stimulus check package. Then we have child tax credit. If you want to get the other half of your child tax credit or just the whole child tax credit in general, if you didn't get it monthly, you could claim that now with your tax returns. Then the California stimulus check, uh, either 600 or 1100 or 600 times two, which is 1200. So we have that, the California stimulus check, then the New Jersey stimulus check of $500. That's just going to uh, people in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Then universal basic income, as I mentioned, uh, at the top of the show of uh, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, the latest one giving $500 per month. This is just mentioning a few others. So Atlanta, Georgia, another $500 per month there. Washington, D.C., $900 a month there. Uh, then we got Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona is giving out $2,000 debit cards to certain families there. And yeah, so that's 
that's just the basic universal basic income update according to this article then saying a tax return of 2815 that's just talking about the average tax return that people could get uh, it's not guaranteed to get that much but that's basically what this article is talking about speaking of tax returns your tax return may get rejected if last year's is still pending here's how to fix the problem so if your 2020 tax return is still pending, you'll need to enter $0 for your 2020 adjusted gross income when electronically filing. This may include filers who received the CP80 missing return notice for 2020. And if you used a non-filer tool in 2021, collect the advanced child tax credit, advanced payments, or stimulus check, you must put in $1 for last year's adjusted gross income. So if your tax return is still delayed for 2020, you're not alone because it looks like uh, IRS backlog hits nearly 24 million returns uh, further imperiling the 2022 tax filing season. So there's still millions of people who haven't gotten their tax returns from 2020. And I feel like there really needs to be a fee or some type of interest paid because that's millions of dollars that are owed to Americans where if it was the other way around where millions of Americans owed money to the IRS people would be in jail right now or they'd have to pay a lot of heavy penalties and fees so I feel like the IRS definitely owes the American people something let me know down in the comments below if you agree with that when it comes to student loan forgiveness Democrats are still putting a lot of pressure on President Biden who they say has the power to cancel $50,000 of student loan federal student loans with just a flick of the pen. So Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez says that student loan cancellation should be Biden's priority and that his hesitation has demoralized a very critical voting bloc. Now, it wouldn't be that big of a deal if President Biden did not promise this on his campaign trail to get into office for 2020. Basically, uh, promising millions of Americans saying, hey, I'm going to give you $10,000. Uh, it's basically $10,000 in their bank account to federally to pay off $10,000 in federal student loans, right? Probably even more if you include interest. So if he didn't make that promise, there probably wouldn't be as much pressure. So AOC called out President Joe Biden's inaction on student loan cancellation. She said that the administration's hesitancy to pursue it has demoralized a very critical voting block, and Democrats have urged Biden to forgive $50,000 in student debt for every federal borrower. So I mentioned yesterday how Bernie Sanders said that. Personally, I don't have any federal student loans. I'm very fortunate. Uh, recently, we paid off my wife's federal student loans uh, after six years or so. So I get both sides of the argument, how people who went to school uh, already paid it off uh, that's, you know, what about them? Do they get any benefit? Also, if people chose to go to school, then they should not have their federal student loans forgiven. But then I also get the other side of it too. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a tricky situation, but I still think if President Biden made a promise, he needs to follow up with that promise, regardless of what the promise is, especially since it helped him get into office. Uh, speaking on the war, Ukraine's president says Wednesday will be the day of Russia's attack. This is huge because before it was just, uh, you know, there's a bunch of troops on the border. Uh, I feel like the news was just kind of being very sensational, hyping up something that may or may not have been there, uh, especially since uh, Vladimir Putin has been saying nothing's happening, nothing's going to happen, no worries. Uh, but now it seems like we have a date. Take a look at this video clip right here giving the latest. With the ongoing tensions with Russia and Ukraine and tonight, the U.S. has now closed its embassy in Ukraine's capital, moving American diplomats hundreds of miles away, citing the continuing buildup of Russian forces. Tonight, analysts now estimate up to 150,000 Russian troops surrounding Ukraine. And tonight, the Pentagon says Russia could move with little or no warning. Ukraine's President Zelensky addressing his nation today about reports intelligence picked up that actual date for an attack of Wednesday. Zelensky declaring it a national day of unity instead. New images from Russia's defense ministry tonight, tank exercises in western Russia, and a show of air power in Belarus, jets flying near the Ukrainian border. And the new images just in tonight, televised from the Kremlin this evening, President Putin meeting with his foreign minister, who told Putin today he believed diplomacy could still work. And Putin also with his defense minister, who reported Russian military exercises are nearly over. So, of course, the question, what comes next? The world watching what Putin will do. James Longman standing by live in Russia. But first, Terry Moran leading us off from Ukraine again tonight.
Tonight, the U.S. is shutting down its embassy in the capital city of Kiev and moving key diplomats to western Ukraine, citing a rapid buildup of Russian forces. Following standard procedure, embassy personnel destroyed classified material. But today, there was also defiance and a call for solidarity from the leader of Ukraine. Vladimir Zelensky, who three years ago was an actor playing his country's president on a sitcom here, responding to media reports that the U.S. has warned NATO allies Russia may attack this Wednesday. They say to us that the 16th of February will be the day of the attack. We are making it the day of unity, Zelensky said, declaring Wednesday a national holiday. Later, Pentagon officials said Vladimir Putin has brought more forces into positions around Ukraine in the past 24 hours, but did not say the U.S. knows a date for any attack. We uh, still don't believe that some final decision has, has been made. Russia has repeatedly denied it is planning to invade. And today, the Kremlin signaled the door to diplomacy may still be open. In a carefully choreographed meeting, Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, told Putin that negotiations with the West were, quote, far from exhausted, should continue and intensify. Putin responding, good. <laughs> Putin then met with his defense minister, who said Russia's massive military exercises around Ukraine are nearing their end. Still, over 150,000 Russian troops are amassed around Ukraine, and 30 Russian warships are now on maneuvers to the south in the Black Sea. Over the weekend, President Biden spoke with Putin and warned him of swift and severe consequences if he invaded. Biden also spoke with Zelensky, who urged Biden to visit the country in solidarity. No comment from the White House. Here in Ukraine, the tension is now a fact of life, perhaps especially for the young. This is your future. That, yeah. that is at stake here. Do you feel that? Yeah, they're actually, it's a bit of scary, but I think it's going to be all right, everything. We, you, just have, you just have to be ready for everything. And Terry Moran joined us tonight from western Ukraine, where American diplomats are now headed. And Terry, you're aware that U.S. officials uh, said just today that some Russian troops are moving closer to the Ukrainian border now. But it would appear with these images uh, coming in from the Kremlin tonight that uh, Putin is still at least publicly appearing to keep diplomatic options open. What does the Biden administration make of this tonight? Well, David, today the White House pointedly declined to call all this a de-escalation. They don't want to play Putin's game, guessing at uh, all the ambiguous and contrary statements he's making. They've got their eyes on the facts on the ground, those troops continuing to arrive and, as you say, moving closer to the Ukrainian border. So what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that the media is just hyping this up more than it actually is? Do you think something is going to happen? If Russia does invade Ukraine, the U.S. has no choice but to respond, which will then probably cause another world war, which I don't think will happen. I think there's something else here because anytime something like this takes over the news cycle, it's I feel like there's something else behind the scenes. It's sort of like a distraction, so especially since nothing big is actually happening. It's just uh, promoting the hype of something big happening. But maybe I could be wrong. Let me know your thoughts on all that down in the comments below. I like to see things from different angles. Uh, anyways, that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully brighten your day a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Oh, hi guys, I didn't see you there. Uh, just to let you know, you guys are so, you guys are, you guys are great to me. You guys are special to me. I need you here beside me. And you are so nice. Do you know why? Cause, cause you're so nice right now thank you so much for watching appreciate your support and for being a part of the wise flies community and to give back to the wise flies community it is that time of the month again i'm giving out 200 checks to my subscribers uh three ways to be a part of this giveaway to potentially win the $200, which I just give out physical checks. I just send those so you could use it for whatever you want. No gift card, no having to download apps or anything like that. So three things. First thing, you have to be subscribed to this channel, Wise Flies. Second thing, be subscribed to my other two channels, Wise Buys, which is a product review channel, and another one, Wise Vibes, which is a motivational channel, trying to put more positivity out there on YouTube. So 
two things there be subscribed to this channel plus my other two channels and the third thing just on this video alone comment the word thankful just on this video and no other video just the one you're watching right now comment the word thankful and I will search for your comment just say what you're thankful for and then I randomly search the comments to pick a random winner for the $200 so I have details I have it all written down in the description below if you want to you know read that rather than me saying it uh, but yeah so good luck with that I'm going to announce the uh, winners next week and if you want to check out any of my latest videos you could click up here and I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching take care be safe and thank you for watching